Right, I think that we can continue to play for just a bit longer, probably another hour. How well preserved hour, was so. the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? No, it was pretty unbelievable. Something up? You can talk to me, really. I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future, you know? What's next? <laughs> I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you, Alex. You missed your chance, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? There's hey, only you three see my brother? rooms they can be Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? <laughs> On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Stop trying. Sort of don't mind if I get Conrad killed. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Wait. No. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. Why is this interactable? If you can't do anything with it. Game, don't do this to me. Thank you. Let me just say this once more for the Scary pictures. Scary pictures. So we're going again tomorrow. Ah. Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Ah, no, I can do it by myself, Alex. Got it. Let's go up. Alex, I was looking at the photographs we took. Come here. Fixin. Why couldn't you Easy, do that? Tiger. In the bedroom. Back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? 
There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. I really You're shouldn't right. have taken anything. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? That's not what she, she just said. Yeah, it's not sure, fun ghost stories. You know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. That's I a bet story. you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. <laughs> the captain is This so story happy. is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Why are you amused with that? The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps <laughs> over to the closet, <laughs> the opens the coming. door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. That's how I feel about it. I think it. you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Can we pitch him over the queue?
You know, isn't it standard practice that one person stays awake, especially if there's storms? Seems to me like it might be a bad idea. So, you okay? I think so. Bleeding from the forehead. Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Dang. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. ourselves in more trouble. Oh, shit. That's oh, not good. Come on. Oh. Oh, what's that going to do? You're still tied up. I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady.
Let me call you waiting. Be on your best behavior, little man. Say nothing. It's now time for you to be quiet. Don't be concerned, he deserved it. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it, let her go! You bastard! You gave away your only advantage. Lipstick! Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They have an influence. Flesh sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. There's so many people to keep track of. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take no, the you can't. Rest. You got up. Okay, they're coming. And you started pounding on the door. <clears throat> they know. I know. You're a fool. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? much money they have. Enough. Uh, taking you for ransom. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Mother Cole. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on the boat. You should get, get dressed first. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window. Don't break and get the, the window. Boat. You guys, it's distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Is this going to be what kills Conrad? This last time. Don't fuck yourself. Donnie, now! Got a knife. Hey, he's got to it, Buster. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. No, she's in on it. 
What are you doing, you idiot? Careful. Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. She's in debt. She's in the Conrad, come on. We can beat these assholes. This kid's trying to kill me or Thank you, you know, you, to escape. Right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! It's very aggressive French you're speaking, sir. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian gold? Well, we'd have to know about it to tell you about it. Tried to escape, he would have been shot and killed. And you fucking blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. You are bleeding. I'm just gonna say, it. Flitz has got to be in on this. She and these guys. They travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, so. It's believable. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hmm. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Sure, what the right decisions are. Everyone should go below deck. Better when we help each other out. You get 
like that, don't you? Job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh, yeah. He could get killed down there. There's not many places to Brad's hide on the ship. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Wait, still afloat. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. I knew it. Conrad could have gotten killed if he tried to escape. Kind hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh, what? <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Hmm. Well, that's the end of that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! I don't know, perhaps I should keep going until I see the curator again. It's only 30 minutes in. Junior, you retire la tête à l'image. If the storm was going to pass your coordinates within an hour, why would you go in looking for whatever it is you're looking for in that ship at that point in time? Just wait. Just wait until the storm passes, then go and find him. Made of 
the sofa. is a floating death trap. Ah. So, sir, you threw my memo away. Keep moving! Uh, I thought there was a sparkly thing there, but it's just the flashlight. Bodies here. Get back. Why are we on here? I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Farm. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. The Mask of Madness. Do you dare to look death in the eyes? Something as the bottom I can't read. Dickheads want with us. This is not the most. Ah, what was that? Wise of actions. One of you shouldn't be exploring this place. Oh, shit. How have rats survived this long? It's not likely, unless they're monster rats, hallucination rats. What's on this? Internal memorandum. 14th Division Army. I can't read the one on the side there. Uh, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He's sick again, conveniently. It's always when he has guard duties in the hold, in hold 3A. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. William P4. I can't read all of it. Copy to QMAMS. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should buck up. Just get on it. Stranger things have been said. Rosan, there is a door here. Okay, all of you, into the room. This isn't safe. If you really want to keep track of your hostages, just put one person on the boat with them, and then two of you go explore the dangerous meta death trap. Hey, 
It's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so we have Thanks. to demand a torch, then that works. In addition, here's an oil lamp that will magically work after 70 years of absolutely nothing. Absolutely not. My poor decisions influence the believability factor. What the hell is this fucking place? It's an awful place. An abandoned ship. Those meatheads seem spooked. An abandoned Given ship. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. No shit, Sherlock. You gonna write a book about it? Give him a break, Fliss. He needs one. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Ah, uh, it's dangerous here. I'm hurt too bad. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. Hot wire it. What is a distributor cap? So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Do I have to save the people who kidnapped Liz, us? I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I'm still not entirely I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously I that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. Okay. Well, with all of that awkward over with... Innocent and anxious, foolhardy. Let's go look at the... this. Seems important. I wonder why this was ripped off. What do you think this ship was? So, What's this? we told you this would be a quick little adventure. Was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill? Real, oh, real spectacles. Extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a head. Extra time, 350 it's an absolutely hour. Absolutely nothing, they're very small. Stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. Uh, what's this? Hmm. It's a hole in the boat. I haven't. No, hold on. I've not. Fine. I've not explored everything yet. Please do not make hey, me go through that vent. Look what I found Vents are a bad means of travel. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it, please. Okay, oh, so I can keep exploring while you're doing that. What's this? I saw an X. Ah, oh, a newspaper. What happened here? What does it say? Gangland. Something ling of I'm oh, probably killing. Worst gangland killing of 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the hmm. Manchurian goals, maybe. Let me 
let's go and look at the door. Though I have a feeling that we really shouldn't. We were only supposed to rob them. This is a very long conversation. I get to say that. Right, okay. Do you need help with this? Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. It's not exactly the best course of like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. I think that. Wanna just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. I think barricading the door is a lovely idea. Barricade. Distraction is not going to keep me from being lied. <sighs> Excited to press the button, and then I can't. Is she going to die now? Probably. Are we safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. My heartbeat was no too heroics. loud. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Right. What's in this room? Oh, all ship personnel, extra guard duty regulations due to the special security precautions on this mission. Additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments, up to and including court-martial. By order of Captain Ford, Guys, nobody's allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. It sounds like we're going into 3A. Alright, I've lost my team. The 
This looks terrifying. And then there's the mystery of the smelly socks punching briefs. That's not... Not very... Not very nice of you. Is this a missile bay? <laughs> it's just a rat. You're being dramatic. Unless it's a monster rat. And then... In that case. Carry on. Well then. We've... Learned... Nothing, and I can't leave. I can't leave. I'm stuck. There we go. Ah! Did you see that? Did you see the ghost? They all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. I Hundreds. don't like that. How could they all just be? I kind of want to go back and, and see if she's still there. Do you see that? I'm going back. Hold on. I don't like that camera angle. She's not there anymore. Ah! No! Game, don't do this to me! I could do bioweapons. Am I going in that room? Hold on, I need to... I have, there was nothing in there. Uh, that really... No. I didn't like that at all. And I'm not wearing shoes. That was unkind. God, I wonder if Fliss is okay. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? What's over here? This place is fucking massive. What is this place? Engine room? Well, is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cap back. Before we're gonna get out of here. Where is Alex? Oh, there he is. You know, I've Hello? not checked that other... Hey! I think... It's journal, 19th of June. I identified problem areas with the structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. 20th of June. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. Well done, you. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? Uh, if you keep asking, we're never going to find out. Oh, this is nice. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hole for a big surprise party. What's this? It's a little rat skull. It's kind of nice. I wonder where the rest of it went. Unless the rats are eating one another. I suppose they could survive that way.
please click on the book. I'm still upset the game scared me with a ghost. Thursday 12. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realise just how quiet this ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks for Snow and Anderson right before, right after we sailed, but Ferris snipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a fella. Is that how you said? A fella? Isn't it fellow? Oh well. Who had helped load up the ship? He told me that they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. But he said that there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right, real precise. Not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. It got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Friday 13. Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on six to check it out. Saturday 14. Just heard one of the guys here snook a look at those boxes, going to go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're going to take a look tonight. Oh no, I've already looked at the rat skull. So I've had one critique so far. It's not so much the... Uh. Not so much the... Um, choices I've made if being separated matters as it is that I failed a quick time event mm, it's nearly an hour we should stop soon We should go to get that. We need it. You think it's safe to grab it? We have to be, we careful. be careful. Could be a trap. Yeah, get gun. Such a good idea, huh? Yeah, man. Not worth it. Uh, it is worth it. Well, you just have to be careful. Cautious, even. Or let the the ghost lady get him. Okay. Qui est là? Vous ai entendu. Qui est là? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres.
This is quite the predicament. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Right. I think maybe. I I love these. Oh, good Internal memo to our crew. Area 7C has been converted into a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Corporal Moore, Chaplain. Right, Alex, let's go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep everyone alive. I'm assuming that's the goal of the game. You hear that? Maybe we can ask for not funny. He's standing down there as being scary. Stop it. Stop existing in that space over there. Expecting ghosts. I don't really want to. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Have we been in here before? What is it? Nothing. You don't want to know. What? What does that mean? Why aren't you telling me? It's just... Rat in it. Rats eating one another. As they do, I guess. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. I'm nice not. Blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. We should have weapons. We don't have any. Right, okay. Let's go over here. And see what this is. Hey! According to this, today is beef casserole. Hmm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. I'll let you read the menu. Because that's a lot of food. And just make me hungry. And I should be going to sleep instead of thinking about food you know how that goes eh soup du jour mademoiselle as if you know your way around the kitchen please relax that was rude just messing around that was incredibly rude uh this green gas it's coming up through the ground. We should be wary of that. Conrad, stop standing right, over that one minute. This place. I'm thinking we got to go through here. Uh, there's so many things to look at in so many directions. For it being a very small place, this is very large. Uh, 
Uh-oh. I don't want him getting stabbed, but I've picked up the knife. This isn't right. What isn't right? Oh, another notebook. Let's look. What has it got to say? Eighteenth of June, Wednesday. I, we haven't been at sea long, and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we got, I'm sure, but man, I'd kill for something fresh. First thing I'm doing when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. Nineteenth of June, Thursday. Every one of the U.S. papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe and there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. I guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. Twentieth of June, Friday. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition in one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked he should be disqualified on account of his size, but no dice. It'd take a whole crowd of people to pin him down. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. Twenty first of June, Saturday. I'm sure the cargo we have in the cold has something to do with the squad that went missing. Their leader, James, heard a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. I don't know if they found them, but they... never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. Well, it looks like there's no other ones. Uh... So, I believe the year that they were saying earlier was 1947. So, I'm assuming it's part of your United States history. What happened in Philadelphia in June in 1947? That is your homework assignment. I'm assuming they based it on some... <laughs> what? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you... I mean... Did you hear anything? All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. It's not it's ghosts. It's all it was. But don't fucking laugh at me. Ghost rats. Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. These are like little labyrinths, though. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross, and it's crappy. We gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? I am slightly concerned about... Uh... Earlier, before... I made that decision just then. Uh... There were these spots on the screen. Uh, you know, they look like the markers in old film, where they would have the numbers on the reel and so on and so forth, you know? It looks like that. That's the only thing I can interact with and I don't want to do it. Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Yes, it is. Why now. are you touching it? Leave, leave, leave! Uh, there's four more, or uh, three more to open. Hey, 
We got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan A. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Will you please hurry? Please? I know, but I've got to interact with everything Look it lets me interact with. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes, maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Can't do anything with it. Okay, let's look at the locks. Got some one. serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. That's to keep people from going in them and desecrating like I've done with the first one. What's this? What's the matter? <laughs> what is it? And a uh, head. What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? It's not a head. It's a cup. All right. It's time to get off the ship. Where's our brother? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get flips. No time to lose. No, I don't like the color. <gasps> what the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh. Why so spick and span? This is the infirmary, I think. Any medicine we find in here is... Still might have some kick. Four years of med school and you prescribed me an 80-year-old aspirin and call me in the morning? Don't take it. Don't That's take it. That's not gonna it. make him sick, is it? Probably. It's probably not aspirin. Ah. That was a poor choice. Conrad. What? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Rather pristine. Don't touch it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? Why did you touch it? I don't understand you. I thought interacting was just going to be looking at it. Where the hell is Conrad? Conrad? Maybe just get in some air. You're long dead. Ah, uh, so many things to interact with. Now Conrad's gone. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Yes. Hashtag nope. Nope. What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. So everyone did? Alright. Let's go find Conrad. Conrad. Must have gone on ahead. Connie! 
You're going to draw a lot of attention to yourself. Shh, shh, quiet. I can shout if I want. Cody! Where the hell did he go? I don't know. Someone's got a mallet. Where do we go from here? Where are you taking me? Now why would I tell you? Yes, I know. I was checking my recording. Tell me where we are going, damn it! Hey! <gasps> Back off! Leave that alone. I want it. I would like some method of self-defense, You don't even know what you're doing. Please. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? You are letting me be rather far ahead of you. Stop. Do I still do I keep going? What do you want? Come on. Uh, fine. You could quite easily close yourself off in a room. Because he's so far behind you. All right, come out. Show yourself. Damn it. These fucking places cursed. I would agree with you there, sir. Not entirely certain why we're on this ship to begin with. Look at this. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Okay. I'm just trying to break the silence here. This is very uncomfortable for all parties involved. <laughs> very uncomfortable indeed. There's ghosts. Please, you don't have to do this. They're spitting steam everywhere. Keep moving. I'm not even certain if she's wearing shoes. If she's not, she's bad. She's dead. <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Let's go look at him. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Now!
Olsen Merde Qu'est-ce que tu fais Comment ça Ah... Mon Photograph. You're not helping. I'm trying to survive. C'est quoi ce bordel? that something got to him. Please don't shoot me as I ran the corner. Let's go back and look at this. doesn't tell me anything. Mike, not enough. This isn't very nice at all. <laughs> that can't be a good sign. All right, I guess I can't go that way. I saw that too! She pointed at it, it was right there in the middle. It's a subtle game. I appreciate that I am very uncomfortable at any given time. Only because... It's been quite a while since I've felt that way about a game. Give me this. Oh, Jesus. What happened down here? I think that... Torchlight makes it just more unsettling. 
And she's not wearing shoes. Perez. Sorry, Perez. And everyone's face has stopped moving towards me. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, shit, fuck. All right. All right, let's go. Right. Buck up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. I don't understand why you're not just using the radio to call for help now that no one's on the Holy boat shit. with you. You know, that would be the intelligent thing to do. I'm sure that if you tried, the radio would be out anyhow, but, you know, points for trying. Jumpy is going Hello? to make me jumpy, and I don't like that. Who's there? Brad. This can't be good. He refuses to walk quickly. He's also not wearing shoes. Choices. It's all very bad choices. All of them. I want to know why all of these people looked at this rusty ship and thought, let's go and look at it. I'm trying to interact with this door before I do go down the scary hallway. Um, let's go explore this rusty ship that looks much older than it has any business being. Without shoes on. Holy shit on a shamrock. What happened here? We all got frightened to death. That's what's happened. Do I want to go forward and look in the locker room? to begin with. Shall we go and open that again because it opened? It's a different sort what? of mask. That's not. OK. 
Can I read that? No. No. Apparently we should have done that. Well done. No smoking. Don't do it. What am I hearing? It's bad for you. Ah, so much to explore. I already feel like I'm lost. Well, you shouldn't interrupt someone while they're in the loo. Give me a fucking break. I feel like you've said that already. Ah. It's a uh, fliss. not Fliss. I thought the toenails were painted. <laughs> Is that the moment that could get him stabbed? If so, I hope it passed it. Okay. Let's move on. They're close. What's this? Defend our future. Propaganda at its finest. Every country has propaganda. Equipment requisition form, quantity description, one respirator, one filter, budgeted expenditure, yes. Proposed by Private Gordon Young, rejected. If rejected, return. Reason for any rejection. Private Young already has a gas mask signed out. Well, that might be why I have. Mustard gas. This, this looks what? What does it look, Bradley? Maybe they're through here. Hold on. I have to explore all avenues. It doesn't let me. There we go. I just want to see what's in here. It's important. It says, Tom, it's your ass if this gets out. See that it's done. To all field officers, ensure that locks are fixed to caskets as soon as they have been located to the water purification project facility. These caskets are classified. They must remain locked and under guard at all times. No personnel in your unit should have access. Where then? Suppose now we can go up into the vent. I'm sorry, had I known that this video would be so much longer, having not stopped at the 28 minute mark, I'd have stopped at the 28 minute mark. Ah. 
Alex? Julia? Hello? Hmm. So it's a painting to look at. It is. Interesting. Right then. Here we are. In this room. Closing the door rather loudly. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! That's locked. Ah, no. No, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. You are. But it is a very, very, very old ship. And it's in the water still, and it's storming. So Skeletons. it's not entirely Skeletons. unreasonable to chalk it Skeletons? up to the storm. Where's this some sort of altercation? First Officer Fisher, sir, you ask to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages at the following times with no response. I didn't turn it round. I should pick it up again. We were able to pick up indirect messaging traffic until... On 40 hours, however, there has been no further incoming messages track at that time, at all since that time. It's possible that our radio equipment is faulty. I'm in, I am investigation and expect it to be able to report back to you by 0300 hours. Private Cooper. Right then, Private Cooper. Mine now. You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. I don't think any of this is supposed to be here still. Just given how old it is. Interact with that. Right, I suppose now we jump down. What are you looking for? Come on. I was trying to go back the other way, but he didn't seem to want to move. Can you go now that you have the wrench? No. Okay. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no! the wrench. You fucking stuff.
should I say? What is going on here? I'm not fancying following the ghosts. I don't know what that was. It's probably a tooth. Could be a bullet. I don't know. Let's follow the disembodied voice of the person who's not supposed to be on the ship. Oh, bugger. where you are at this point in time. Where have you gone? Everyone's separated. And I'm an hour and 40 what minutes into my video. This? Oh, this is lovely. Let's stay here. There's a dance floor. There's a piano. Everything's lit. It's lovely. This is not right. What is going on here? There's a bloody fountain. It's nice. Oh, it's a ritual human sacrifice. That's also nice. I don't want to leave just yet. Come on, let's keep your head on straight. I want to explore just a bit more. Maybe. If the game will let me. Should be should silently assemble, and no more f or fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three female and two male, firstborn, faces obscured with hood, sigils. No, it is important the sorcerer and the spiritual well being flock up before the festival of Akrama Hamari Khan ritual of Threshkia performed to wit away demons by means of cabal. The penta pentangle shall be drawn out and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points. A lady born of the seas shall be rendered unconscious and placed at the centre of the pent pentangle. It is from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of Soros, sword in hand, with all exaltation possible as it is written we five stand at the furthermost point we are yet close enough to touch pentagram the five starred great power turning 90 degrees to your describe the unicastle out the pentangle is faith sword forward and using rents turn degrees to describe the osavernal sigil constitutes with reverence Turn to face north with exultation, exclaim. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, pick that up again. I'm sorry. This is why my videos take so long, I think. Uh, 
there's another page. The sword forward and with exultation exclaim the pentangle is sacrificed. Page 34, each member takes a step inwards and then is still in the stance of Ram. Recite in unison, we are one and so is our Lord or Soros. With this sacrifice, we ask you to cleanse our aura to rid us of the demons that plague us. We spare the life of man in your honour, that we may ourselves worthy of your trust. Only when the incantation is complete, should the five converge upon the drawn... Each member should turn into the unfortunate body of its unclean blood. Skull dagger blood tray. The body should be transferred to a casket of thick wood with head accessible by your flock at any time as a remainder of the evil that can infect the unwary and the power of Soros to keep all safe. And so the ritual, and no longer should spirits, the festival may... May nothing. Okay. Well, that was rather important. We wouldn't know what was going on with the... <sighs> I'm sorry, the coffins otherwise. I don't know what the point of that is. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll leave now. It's nearly been two hours. No one's wearing shoes. Hold on. There's a painting. Let's look at that first, see if it has anything to do with the lever. Oh, there's a cracking. We're going to be in the water. Back. Dead Space did this too. It's too weird. Uh, second one, I think. Let's go and inspect the casket. Well, that's enough for one day. The room's not nice anymore, is it? Hey! <coughs> hey! Now they're together. Brad? Captain? How did you find me? I'd say my plan of hiding from the crooks was a pretty solid move. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely give you that one. I mean, now they don't know how many of us there are. Mm-hmm. What's with the gas mask? I found it in one of the lockers. I thought it would help, but I don't know. We should get out of here. Is that... I, I'm sure that whole nothing is okay. as it seems. Safe to say that we are now to go lost. back and check everything. It's a big ship and have a lot of corridors. I just, we just gotta explore every damn one of them until we find a way out. I did not check the caskets again. That is 
so not what you want to have happen when you're on a boat. But that was... We need to find a way up on deck. Hashtag my thoughts exactly. Let's climb up. Nice. How'd this guy meet his maker? Hmm. There's a note. From Carter Watts. To all crew who have been assigned guard duties, ghosts, as some of you are aware, are aware, some crew were dismissed from guard duty yesterday so that I and two other officers could look into these claims of ghosts on board. We have concluded after an overnight watch in which we thoroughly investigated all the holds that there, I am assuming that says there are not ghosts on board, but I only see there are and then ghosts on board. Uh, any reports of cargo moving around are from the movement of the ship. It is your duty to make sure that there is sufficient dunnage in place to protect the cargo. Refer to FM019. I don't know if she's moving it, I can't read it. Standard operating procedure for all cargo ships if this is unclear. You are all trained soldiers. Get a hold of yourselves and quit spreading these damn rumours. We have a mission to complete. Signed, see what. They're coming for me next. No escape. Where then? Well, that's some ledge. Come, Brad. Come over here. Whoa. Maybe up here. I don't think we can go any lower. I'd say that's the main drive shaft. You ready? Yeah. Not safe whatsoever. Looks like the way out. Does it? They all look the same. I was thinking maybe you could close that so no one could follow you. I wish I could say this was going to help, but it's kind of lame in every way. How you feel about it, we'll leave it. Oh boy. That's high. There's gotta be a way up on deck. No shit, Sherlock. You're catching on. Mm. No. There's no way down this grate. Right. Okay. Well, we're not going up there because it's broken. And... Here we are. Going back down. Yo, Brad, check it. That ladder. That could be our ticket out of here. It's the. Uh, Want to draw straws? The curator. I'll go. Okay. <laughs> be my guest. The curator is a ghost. Yo, Blitz. You okay? Yeah, sure. How about you? Great. That's gonna be a big help. Damn it! It's okay. Uh, maybe there's another way. Uh, I'm looking up here. There's gotta be something. Motherfucking worthless, you know? Just FYI. Is for shit. 
pretty as I think it is, but... I lost it. Are you coming? Are you coming back? You got a stack. There we go. That's how you get up to the deck. By flooding the ship and sinking it. Well done, you two. It's problem solving. Same one as on the ship. Bad ones are like too.
alive. You... You okay? Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! You wanted to surprise me with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's what you get. You get these guys that are not the cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. to our video so we'll stop here and uh, pick up tomorrow because I have to get some sleep tonight